This is Hunter Labrada and Dwayne Walker at the 2020 Tampa Pro. In my opinion and the opinion of many others, this was your top two of the open class. Of course, Ian or Ian Valier placed second, much to almost everybody's disagreement. This Dwayne Walker, he hit the scene and I don't think the judges saw him on the radar and they just automatically placed Ian second. But has there been too many comparisons between these two against the winner of the show, Hunter Labrada, and the the man that placed third? This is Dwayne Walker placed third underneath of Ian Valier. And I did a comparison between those two and I have to say Dwayne definitely deserved if not the second, then the first place. Let's judge this as we judge any other, pose by pose, and we are ignoring the symmetry round. For some reason, it is getting harder and more difficult to find rear relaxed positions. And without that, you're wasting your time judging the front relaxed. What if the opposite man is winning the rear relaxed? Hmm, then what? In the front double bicep pose, this is clearly a good little matchup between these two. Wow. Definitely a size advantage, I would believe, for Hunter Labrada. But look at that muscle separation of Dwayne Walker. Fantastic. He's mass with class, Dwayne Walker. No pun intended. The front lat spread. Now, this is very vexing. This is not a very good shot of Hunter Labrada, and it's the only one out there that you can find. So it's pretty much a write-off, guys, considering this is probably one of Dwayne's best poses. My soul, does he look good here. Not even worth judging. On to the next pose, I guess. Now, this one here is a good little battle. It's a struggle. It's thick, thick, raw muscle for Hunter Lebrotter. Look how thick he is. Pecs, arms, and the legs. My soul, look at his legs. And then you look at that just classic lines of Dwayne Walker and the muscle separation. Usually I don't, I, I prefer a bow over a split in the pec, but this Rambo split that Dwayne Walker has looks pretty good if you ask me. Comes underneath and creates its own little 70s bow. I like that. Not to mention he's winning in the midsection muscle separation and he has a much smaller midsection as well. So, on to the next side pose position, and I have to say, so far, Dwayne Walker, I have him in the lead, but then this pose here, and I said this every single matchup that I have done with Hunter Labrada, this side tricep, this is top 10, top 3, top 3 in the world for side triceps. Just wait till you see him compared with the top dogs in this pose. I'm telling you, he's going to earn a higher place just because of this one pose. If he's in lineups, if they do it fair. But anyway, Dwayne Walker, taking nothing away from him. Look at his physique. He looks fantastic as well. But Hunter gets, gets the Duke in the side tricep. So into the, into the back developments. And this is a thinker, guys. This is a thinker. Dwayne Walker, like I said, that muscle separation, he has that in spades. Look at the lower lat insertions. Now, that is something that you just cannot buy at the lat insertion market. You cannot pick those up. Now, Hunter, he's probably in a little bit better condition. Hard to say, really. Just looks a little tighter when I look at the lower back. The Christmas tree area. Not those low lat insertions. Those are dreamlike for for Dwayne Walker. Just incredible. Both men pretty tight in the glute region. Calves look good. Wow. Close one, guys. Close one. Let's go to the rear double bicep pose. And this is not a good angle, I don't think, of Dwayne Walker. Because if it was, I think he may be getting... An edge in the V-taper, but he's tilted just thusly, and the V-taper looks pretty good there for Hunter Labrada. And Hunter is good. He's definitely good. He has a... looks like he has longer torso and shorter legs. And Dwayne Walker with the longer legs and shorter torso. These guys are built different. No? 
I, th I think I just think that's hilarious. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, both are world class athletes, and it's still hard to judge. The lower back itself, like I said, looks a little tighter. Maybe the hamstrings. I don't know. The hamstrings look good, and Dwayne Walker as well. But Hunter Labrada, maybe a slight edge coming out of both back poses. He's a little bit bigger as well, guys. The ab and thigh pose. Wow, does Dwayne Walker look good in this one? Huh? This is Serge Nebre. This is Frank Zane. This is... Who else has a good ab and thigh? Oh, I don't know. Dwayne Walker. This is Dwayne Walker-like. Just classic. Not too much. Just enough. And I have to say, Hunter Labrada, I don't like this pose. Looks like a most muscular, to be honest. But his conditioning is good. His thigh is good. He'd be beating William Bonac, I guess. But he is not beating Dwayne Walker. Of course, I made Dwayne a little bit taller here because he's not crouching down. I take all those things into consideration, guys, when I size these dudes up. Let's go to the most muscular. And I am actually quite surprised, to be honest. This one here, I figured Hunter would be dwarfing Dwayne in size. But it's that muscle separation. Now, yes, Hunter vascular, hard, grainy looking. But that classic muscle separation of Dwayne Walker. Actually, there's another one of Walker here. And I, I think I like this one even a little bit better. And throw those abs in the mix. I must say, this has turned out to be a, a tight little matchup, guys. A very close contest. And I personally would be giving Dwayne Walker an edge. Believe it or not. And it's... Very vexing to me that I didn't see a whole lot of comparisons on stage. Was there some sort of political edge to keep these two away from each other? Just throw in Ian for second place. Nobody will argue that. Anyway, guys, just my opinion. It was still very close. I could understand. Some people giving it to Hunter is a little bit bigger. Maybe a little bit more conditioned. Hard to say. Hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. Go ahead and tap thumbs up if you did. Really helps, guys. It gets these videos out there into YouTube land. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram as well. Have a great day.